time for taking Hello and good morning guys. It's November the 8th. It's a Tuesday and I have to start this out by saying I'm very sad because my favorite claw clip is kind of broken. I kind of fixed it. Um, so that's just a sign I have to get a new one. So I think I'll go to winners sometime this week and get some new ones. I have other ones that came in the package, but they're just they're too small for my amount of hair. Which brings me to my second point. Steve and I are going to a wedding this Saturday. His sister is getting married. So I'm trying to figure out, um, do I cut my hair? Do I style it? Do I do something with it? What do I do with my bangs? Because right now they're almost growing out. Do I want to cut them again? Problem is I cut them the last wedding we went to in July. It didn't turn out the cutest. They were were uneven, were not cute. They style my hair to distract from the bangs. So I'm either gonna have to get them cut professionally or just let them grow out and kind of like pin them back for the wedding. Maybe curl them back. Oh, make it look like I had a blowout or something. Um, that being said, my mom's coming over today. So I'm just gonna do some skincare and get ready because I am teaching at two to three. And then I'm teaching at the studio from 4.30 to 6.45. Then I'm teaching at home from eight till nine. So it's kind of from two until nine today. And you guys already know the OG face cleanser, no parabens, no smells, scent free essentially. And it foams so well, you don't need a lot of it. I'm also breaking out a lot today. So I might even do a face mask. You know what? I think I'll do a face mask tonight. So I'm definitely get I keep saying I'm gonna have a bubble bath because I love that bathtub, but then something comes up like I need to edit my video and then it's 11 p.m. I'm like, oh, it's too late to have a bubble bath because I have to be up. I also slept in this morning. I woke up early. I don't know why. Actually, I know why. I really had to go pee. So I woke up at like 7 a.m., which is early for me because I teach usually until like 10 p.m. most nights. So I like to sleep in a little bit, at least until like 7. I woke up at, um, no, sorry. 6 a.m. I had to go to the bathroom. I went back to sleep. Woke up at 7. Went back to sleep. And then I woke up at 9.30 or 9 o'clock whenever I woke up this morning, 9 a.m. Like, there's no happy medium. Why can't I wake up at 8? I was talking with my friend yesterday and I hate sleeping in. I really don't like it because I feel like if I sleep in, I'm wasting half of my day. I can eat sometimes. But then I feel like if I wake up, at least I can kind of have a slow morning. I'm not the kind of person who first thing in the morning goes to work out, goes and does this. I like to have a bit of a slow morning with my coffee. I do get things done, don't get me wrong. Like first thing in the morning, my, the first thing that I do, which probably isn't the best, is check my email, you know, respond to things, maybe do a thumbnail first thing because I just feel like energetic. And then I have my coffee really slow and have my breakfast. And then my first class used to be at 8 a.m. And now my first class, most of the time is it till nine or even one o'clock. So my 8 a.m. had to move, which is kind of nice, it means I can sleep in, but they moved until the evening. So it means I have to stay up late, but that's fine. I'm easy going. I just want to help people the most that I can around teaching and choreographing. So I'm game for whatever. On that note, I'm going to go take Elsa outside because she needs to run. Since I'm teaching at the studio today, I'm not going to dance now. Plus my mom's coming over, like that would be rude. So I'm going to dance at the studio if I have time. So clearly I need to do something with my bangs. They're just at that length where they're too long to style, but they're also too short to put back. Once I finished showering, my mom arrived and she came up to visit so we could go on a little lunch date, catch up, you know, do as mother daughters do. She got this delicious looking carrot cake and I got the salted caramel brownie. In this town, they also had some holiday beverages, but I opted for the cappuccino. We both got the same lunch. We both got the veggie panini sandwich, which was delicious. I even had some leftover for that night. Actually, it was the next day I had lunch leftovers. Then outside of the little cafe, there were a lot of cute shops that had this steampunk influence decor. This town is obsessed with Harry Potter. This is the same town in which they hosted the Harry Potter festival that Steve and I went to in August. After my mom went back home, I went back home as well and cuddled with my cat and my dog because I had to go to work. And then after work, I got home pretty late, just had dinner and chilled on the couch, watched some TikToks and some Netflix and went to bed at a pretty decent time. Just kidding, I stayed up till 2 a.m. listening to Midnight's.
so I just finished my last class at 11.30. It's 12 right now. I'm just answering some emails and doing some admin work. My laptop's sitting in the living room and then I'm gonna do a ballet class and then have lunch because I'm getting pretty hungry. But I just wanna dance quickly, like only 20 minutes so I can film some TikToks and then I wanna sit down and binge watch Love is Blind, the finale. The fact that Love is Blind is out? Like the finale is out guys. And I've not watched it yet. Um, That being said, I was working very hard. Oh, those are cold. I left my point cheese in the car overnight and I think they froze slightly. Oh, they're so cold. Um, But yeah, I was working since eight this morning. I was teaching until 11.30. And I do a quick ballet class for like 20 minutes. Then I'm probably gonna have to shower because these shoes smell. And then I'm going to watch Love is Blind over lunch before I teach my next class at three o'clock. And then I have a break from 4.30 until eight o'clock in which I'll probably watch the rest of finale. And I have no idea where my toe pad is, guys. Found it. You, it's so cold. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick ballet class. Obviously listening to Taylor Swift's Midnights while I dance because that's the only album and the only thing I'm listening to in the car on the way to work. Can we also take a moment to appreciate <laughs> this hair? I'm gonna have to redo it. I also have not made the bed today. I rolled out of bed and went straight to work and did not make it or clean anything up from last night. So I need to do that eventually. So I found a schedule that works for me and that works for driving, where I can save gas, but still manage to work in the studio. Basically every Monday I dance at home if I'm feeling up to it. Sometimes I take Mondays off because I usually teach Saturdays and maybe Sundays. So sometimes Mondays are off, but I do teach a lot online. Tuesdays, I'm always in the studio teaching, so I try to get there about an hour beforehand so I can work in the studio for a bit. Wednesdays, which is today, I work at home and the whole day I'm at home. So there's really no reason for me to leave the house, especially since the closest studio is 30 minutes away. And with the price of gas right now, I'm just like, you know what, I can do pretty much the same amount of work at home. Even if I wanted to do a little bit more center work, I could just move to the basement or move to the living room. So I think I'll start doing that on Wednesdays. Then Thursdays I teach in the studio again. So I, of course, bring my point shoes and try to do a little bit of work before I teach on Thursdays. Now Fridays I am at home and I love being at home on Fridays because it doesn't, it means I don't have to commute on the way home and I can relax in the evenings with Steve and really rejuvenate before I have to teach Saturday mornings, 9 a.m. This Friday, we will actually be traveling to go to a wedding for Saturday, and we're both so excited. By the time this vlog is out, we should be back home because this was filmed a week prior, but we're both so excited to go to this wedding. It's actually Steve's sister's wedding, and it's gonna be really nice to see somebody that we love dearly, especially seeing his sister get married. I'm sure there will be many tears, and tears of joy and happiness, obviously. I'm sure lots of core memories will be made this weekend, so we're both very excited. It's funny, I was checking my comments on YouTube and I saw somebody had commented on a video I posted a year ago that entailed all the goals and outlined all the goals that I wanted to achieve by 2022. And I've achieved all of them in terms of YouTube and social media. Where could my cat be in this room? <laughs> but you were gonna be free. I think I'm going to put our white Christmas tree that my parents gave us in this landing at the front of the house. I'm gonna do that now because I have about three hours until my next class. But when it comes to personal goals, guys, I need to take better care of myself. One of my New Year's resolutions slash goals for 2022 was to wake up earlier like every other person on the planet's resolution. And another goal was to read a book a month and I started off strong in the summer, but then when September hit and back to school was happening, 
Oof, I fell off the deep end. So I don't know if this is too full now on the landing. Like maybe the tree should just have its own section here. Then it blocks the window, at least here. It doesn't block the entire window. So I think I'll live with it. So I figured out, I put this little piece, this wicker basket with the plant in it to fill up the space still. And I have the Christmas tree still there. I am of course, burning some or not burning some using some essential oil in the diffuser it's the gratitude one from sage i moved this plant up here i kind of like this vibe going on it's a lot more cozy i have this little snowflake and this is so much cozier now look at this anyways guys i know today's vlog was really short i hope you have a great rest of your day stay safe happy dancing and bye now comment down below what your goals and resolutions are for 2023 bye